Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. I've got a product out here that uh, I've been using for about mm, 20 years and I'm not sure if you guys even know it exists. But uh, they're pretty cool, they're really helpful. I've used them a lot and uh, let me focus you down on this work surface and I'll show you what I got. These are threaded inserts, and when I bought them originally, of course, they're made in the USA. It goes in your pop rivet gun. You get a little draw bar with threads on the end, and you screw it into this insert. And you use a standard pop rivet gun. You put it in there. You put it in a hole that you've drilled. You crimp it, and it crushes it just like a pop rivet. You have to open your gun up, pull the gun off, unscrew the little draw bar, and you can put a bolt in there. I mean, these things have saved me a lot on fixing things. You can put it in thin sheet metal, and it gives you a nice, heavy, threaded area to screw a screw into. Now, I don't have the size I needed, so I went down to my big box store, and I bought some new ones. They have several different sizes. They have uh, 632, 832, 1024s, and quarter 20 and quarter 28s. Now when I bought them, I picked them up off the shelf, and I'm looking inside the little package, and I said, well, there's no little draw bar in there. How do you, uh, how do you crimp them? So I picked up a different package, and I looked inside of that one. It still is no little draw bar. And I thought, oh, I see why. It's made in China. Oh, don't get me started on that. So, I looked around on the shelf, and in order to uh, use these little Chinese threaded inserts, you have to buy the little Chinese special inserting tool. Yeah, they not only stab you in the back, then they twist the knife a little bit. So, I've got the appropriate hole already drilled. I'm going to hang up a little... Uh, hummingbird feeder the wife got from the grandkids from Mother's Day so <laughs> you know I gotta get that baby hung up gotta make them little kids happy so let's go out in the backyard and I'll show you where we're gonna hang this thing okay I don't know how much you can see or hear but we're gonna pop this thing in and see what happens this knob on here is for unscrewing the draw bar out of the threaded insert once it's stuck in the material you want it in. give you a real good directions with this thing on how far to crimp it. We'll try that. Said crimp it until tight. Alright, now we're going to screw our little eye bolt in. We're going to tighten up the little nut so it don't work its way out. Break the little kids. That wouldn't be good. There. That ought to make them all happy. Now let's go back to the shop. I've got a couple things to show you. Okay, we're back in the shop. Something I want to talk to you is upcoming videos. You're going to want to subscribe, I'm telling you. If you are a handyman, a do-it-yourselfer, a woodworker, anything you use, spray cans, a paint, lacquer, varnish, and you uh, always have trouble with the tips plugging up. They tell you, 
tip the can upside down and spray it for a few seconds. Well, all you're doing is wasting your propellant. I mean, how many times have you picked up a can of spray paint to use it and nothing will come out because you've used up all your propellant? I have never done that in over 25 years. That's how long ago I found out a way to clean the tips. I never tip my can upside down and waste the propellant. When I'm done spraying, I pull the tip off and I clean it. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's so simple, you're going to be amazed. And to show you how well it works, here is a bag of over a hundred tips that I have never used. They're brand new. I give my father-in-law two of these bags of tips. I use the same tips that I've been using for 10 years. Eventually they do wear out and they have to grab a new one, but you just use them over and over. They're so easy to clean. It's scary. The next thing that's coming up is a finish that I have come up with that I'm using. I don't know if you can see the shine on this board, but this is a finish that is 100% waterproof. If you finish this board on all six sides and submerge it under water, it will never get bad. This stuff is totally waterproof. You can thin it down to brush it, and I'm working on trying to thin it thin enough to spray. But you're, you, can, you ain't going to believe it when I tell you what this actually is that I'm using. Most people don't. But there are some up, upcoming videos I want to do just to spread the word out there to the rest of you woodworkers that uh, just a few help, helpful hints. So remember to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I, I'm learning. You got to tell me what I'm doing wrong if I am. And probably climbing a step ladder on Friday the 13th <laughs> wasn't the best idea. Uh, tell you a little secret at the shop. I do all the maintenance work at the shop and I'm always standing a ladder next to an aisle or over an aisle. I have a large uh, step ladder. And you'd be amazed <laughs> how many of them guys will go out of their way to walk around that ladder without going under it. It's really comical. <laughs> but um, send me an email. It's jimsfixitshop at gmail.com or jnrwoodworking2 at gmail.com. Send me a line. Uh, send me a picture of something you need fixed or you need a little help with it. If I got time, I'll be more than happy to send you a line back. And uh, just remember to uh, have fun and work safe. That's what it's all about. Till next time, we'll see you later.